జెనిఫర్ హిల్ పత్రిజీ ధ్యాన మహాయాగం వేదిక ద్వారా వారిని సగౌరవంగా వేదికపైకి ఆహ్వానిస్తున్నాం ప్లీజ్ గివ్ ద మై బిగ్ క్లాప్ ప్లీజ్ వెల్కమ్ మ్యామ్ హలో namaste and thank you so much for having amy and i here we both traveled from far away and it is our privilege and our honor to be here with you so namaste and thank you so much for those of you watching online or those of you here in the audience with us we came here because like you we felt a calling we felt compelled to come and to be in the space of people who are aware of our consciousness. Amy and I, right before we went on, we were just having a beautiful conversation about dreams and the meaning of our dreams and our consciousness and how everything is an interpretation. How many of you, whether you understood the words in English or in Hindi or whatever language, how many of you felt Amy's love for being here? Did anybody feel that? It's so beautiful that love comes in so many shapes and sizes. I study a lot of different spiritual disciplines and one of them is Kabbalah. And in Kabbalah there is a beautiful book called The Wheels of the Soul. And many of us struggle our whole lives to find that romantic love. We might find it in our country or with our family, but so many of us yearn for that soulmate sort of love. So given that Pari and I were just speaking over lunch and we were talking about our past lives, this is a story about two people who connected and their past lives and how they intertwined. So several hundred years ago in Eastern Europe, there was a village and they had this mayor who was a very kind and generous mayor who ran the village. And they had a rabbi This rabbi was like your patroji. He was the person who everybody went to to study spiritually. However, this rabbi was horribly disfigured. He was a young man and one of the wisest men of all time, and the mayor loved having him in his village. However, there was one little obstacle. You see, the mayor had a beautiful daughter. This daughter had suitors coming from all over Eastern and Western Europe just to try and ask for her hand in marriage. So fast forward, one day the rabbi comes to the mayor and says, "Sir, it is such an honor to be here and to be a part of your village and to offer spiritual teachings to your villagers. I only have one humble request. May I ask for your daughter's hand in marriage?" Now, what's interesting is you have this gentleman, the rabbi who's disfigured and the mayor thinks he's the best thing ever, but he doesn't want this gentleman to be let down. So as he goes and the rabbi asks for his hand in marriage, his ability to ask for the daughter, the mayor says, "Let me discuss it with my wife." And he says, "My love, what do we do? We don't want to lose this incredible rabbi, yet our daughter has turned down suitor after suitor and surely she will turn down this disfigured man as brilliant as he is and she says my love we must allow fate to take its course so the next time they're having dinner the rabbi says to the young woman he says i would like to have a conversation with you with your father's blessing and she acquiesces and says okay i shall join you so they go into an adjoining room and the rabbi begins to tell her a story The rabbi says in a prior lifetime you made some mistakes you hurt some people and in this lifetime you are meant to come back horribly disfigured but i knew that your soul was delicate and that it would be too much pain for your soul to bear so i asked the divine the gods the goddess and i said please allow me to receive this disfigurement instead because i am confident she will recognize me and so it was that in that moment this woman who had had hundreds thousands of suitors from all around the world looks into this disfigured man's face and says it is you my love and why do i share this story with you because our love for one another whether it's romantic love paternal love love of friendships 
It surpasses all time and space. And whatever obstacles we may be faced with, whatever challenging situations, our soul chose it, and our soul chose one another to exist in this lifetime. So that's my thought. Thank you. Thank you. I send blessings to each of you and much love. And may you all know how absolutely wonderful and blessed you are. Thank you. My wish, my dream for each and every one of you, whether you speak the language English or you're just getting the sense of the energy behind the words that Amy and I are saying, because that is what words are, is they are energy backed by intention. My wish for you is that you have a life filled with challenges that help you to grow stronger, that you have a life filled with love and with passion, and that just like our incredible Patraji, who we are here to celebrate, and the Pyramid Spiritual Society, that we too can dance, that the day we pass away, the day our soul departs this earth, that our soul is dancing, and so are the people who loved us. I am Jennifer K. Hill. This is Amy Levin, and it's been our pleasure to spend this time with you today. Thank you. And, to laugh. Oh, and Amy says, and laugh. Laugh a lot. <laughs> Much love, everyone. <laughs>